Hello, I'm Hannah and I'm the director of She Wolves. Uh, it came from a conversation that me and Sarah, the writer, had about um, what we would have wanted to watch when we were teenagers um, and we kind of came up with the fact that we'd want to watch a show with female leads where they go on an adventure where they actually make decisions and make choices where they're in charge of the narrative where it's their story and they get to kind of really control it and because we're both from Derbyshire we immediately thought of the Peak District and how much we I mean I used to get out a lot in the Peak District with my dad because my dad's big, big into walking and we always used to have like a lot of fun and a lot of adventures so it felt like a natural kind of setting for the play um, and also generally we make work which is kind of uplifting and fun and so we wanted to make a piece for teenagers that was gonna make them feel good and make them come out kind of feeling that things can change and you know not the there, there are kind of serious issues within the play but it's done in a very um, I hope in a very like fun uplifting way and even though we do kind of go a little bit darker at moments we always kind of bring it back to positivity and hope and especially coming out of the pandemic um, the young people we were talking to really wanted something uplifting something fun that was going to make them laugh and make them feel joyous so that's kind of yeah kind of where the idea came from and i guess sarah wrote a very rough draft quite early on which the play used to be called the expedition which is nowhere near as good as she was um, and then we, we applied to a few things which we weren't successful with, but we were so excited by the idea, we wanted to make it happen. So we applied to the Arts Council to do a research and development period, which involved talking a lot to teenagers and doing a two week um, rehearsal process with some professional actors. Uh, we really thought it was really important to actually speak to teenagers because, you know, even though we were making something that we hope we would have enjoyed when we were teenagers. We also wanted teenagers now to enjoy it, and obviously things are really different to when we were young. Um, so we wanted it to have like an authentic voice and to make sure that it was rooted in what young people think about and care about today. And on the issues that we were interested in exploring, luckily the young people were also interested in those issues, uh, particularly climate change. Um, and so we so we spoke a lot to young people, we did a lot of workshops with young people, we did the two week R&D, and then we did a sharing, um, it was in the height of COVID in 2020, so we did a sharing online with Nonsuch Theatre, who were brilliant. And we had about 100 audiences watch, which was incredible. And we gathered feedback from those, um, that sharing and the young people that came to watch or watched online. and. Then we did another Arts Council application to actually create the full production and to do a mini tour in the Midlands. So that went uh, went around the Midlands last year and we did an Edinburgh Fringe run um, thanks to the Pleasants and Curve Theatre for supporting us. Um, and now we're about to embark on a national tour, which is very exciting. Yeah, She Wolves, um, like I said, She Wolves was toward the Midlands. Um, because it is set in the Midlands, it felt like a natural starting place to tour like Nottingham, Derby, um, all over the Midlands actually. And it got really good responses and really good feedback. And we actually felt like even though it is set in Derby, it's also kind of a universal story and definitely can have a life outside of it. So we're chuffed to be able to take it further. Uh, this year. Um, the themes are, I guess the main theme is around um, young people getting their voices heard and supporting each other to do that and lifting each other up and I think Lou and Priya without each other wouldn't find their voices and wouldn't be able to kind of change the things in their lives so it's kind of about like friendship as well and how as women and as young women particularly we need to lift each other up and support each other so that we can make our lives better and make the world a better place as well so that's kind of the key theme i say and then climate change is is something that lou is very passionate about and kind of her um her admiration for greta thunberg is kind of what inspires her to protest and then eventually 
um, hopefully this is not too much of a spoiler, but for Priya to kind of get on board with that as well. There's also um, themes around like families and relationships and both of them have some family issues going on and again they kind of come together to sort of work out how they can how they can make changes within their like small world so even though the play has got like bigger political messages it's also got like the, the politics of like your own your own experience in life and how you can ask for help I suppose and get help to change the things that are directly affecting you in your personal life as well as the kind of bigger picture. It's really funny and even now having worked on it for like two and a half years hearing the script read through I was giggling away. The actors are so fantastic they just bring the script to life um, and lots of friends that have seen it have kind of messaged me afterwards saying like how funny it was and how like few little little lines that they really liked that they really remembered um, I think even though it is aimed at teenagers a lot of adults have seen it and enjoyed it I think it's that kind of teen movie like I love watching teen movies because it kind of makes me feel nostalgic and kind of takes me back to being a teenager so I think if you're an adult and you want a good night out and to just like be nostalgic then definitely come and see She Wolves it's also uplifting so you'll also feel like a bit more positive about things hopefully when you come out and yeah and the set's amazing the costumes are amazing the lighting's amazing I've got an incredible team all oh, the music loads and loads of um, amazing feedback about the music and people like wanting to buy the album and things so you know Ellie Isherwood's music is absolutely incredible as well so loads of reasons to go and watch it really it's Actually, there is a Spotify um, playlist, so that is, I think, in the program. So if you come to watch the show, then you can access our digital program because we're saving the planet um, online, which has links to the Spotify playlist. We also what's well, something that we also did in the development of the process actually was get young people to make pro um, playlists of their favourite music. So then their choices inspired the music as well. Blue Wolves is on tour from the 14th of April to the 22nd of May. And if you go on www.wearshewalls.co.uk, you can find the full list of tour dates and all the links to buy tickets for all the shows. And we're going all over the place. So I'm sure there's gonna be somewhere near you. So please check out the tour dates now.